the best part about this project is that view right there. While I'm having my Gatorade, Rod's having his cold coffee. That's the pool area and that's gonna be the tennis court. This is a day in the life of a civil engineer. This is literally me every morning. Super frustrated and angry. And the reason behind it is lack of sleep. The problem with anger is it makes things even worse. Just look at me. Let's try again without rushing. Can you expect my videos without transitions? No way! My fellow engineers, it's time to rule the world! It's 7.20 in the morning, but the temperature is 32 degrees Celsius. <sighs> Typical Australian summer. It's gonna take one hour to reach work, so let's go! We will be starting point. the day with side visits and I have with me my colleague Rod. Are you excited today? Excited for a big day. Excited for a big day. So where are we going first? Um, we're just here at Putney and then we'll, we'll make our way to all the rest of the sites throughout the day. So this is where we're starting. Whoa, it's gonna be a long day. So this is our first side visit of the day. It's a two-story house with a pool in Putney. Our task was to check whether the work was carried out according to the engineering plan. The weather was amazing and the view was pretty good. What a day! First side visit successfully done. Four more to go. While Rod is busy driving, I'm just chilling. Our second stop, Kilara. This is one of our biggest projects. We have got a big pool at the back and there's a tennis court on the other side. This house is going to be super luxurious. Our task here is to check all these new columns, whether they have been made according to the structural engineer's drawings. That's the pool area and that's going to be the tennis court. Because people who have high phobia might have a very hard time being a civil engineer because you always have to work in these kind of conditions. Third stop, Linfield. There isn't much going on in Linfield today. Right now, I'm at the superstore to grab some drinks. Gatorade, it's high time you sponsor my content. While I'm having my Gatorade, Rod's having his cold coffee. Yep. Stop is Longueville. The best part about this project is that view right there. Oh my god. And there is the harbor bridge. I can sit here and have a look at this view for the whole day and still won't get tired. Site inspections are mainly carried out to ensure that quality and safety procedures are followed throughout the project. It is very critical for the engineers to focus on every small detail. We are heading off to our last project for the day, which is in Vaucluse. The clouds in Australia always fascinates me. So beautiful. We are into our final project in Vaucluse. We will be demolishing this house and we will build a whole new house 
right here. Let's go inside and check out what's happening. Here, the ground is excavated for a new swimming pool. We're pretty much done with the site visits and it's time to head back to the office. After coming back to the office, I had my lunch while watching Netflix on my break. But all good things must come to an end. After the break, I worked on our current programs to check the progress of our projects according to the deadlines. Luckily, most of them were ahead of time. And then I printed a quotation of one of our subcontractor to verify all their information aligns with the architectural plan. This is one of the simplest part of my job. Here I am showing off a brand which I'm trying to get sponsorship. Being a civil engineer, you should be very skilled at maths because we spend a lot of time measuring and estimating materials required for the project. It also requires analytical skill which you will acquire from your degree. The fun part about analyzing an architectural plan is to highlight the different sections. This is very satisfying. In the next one hour, I spend the time having conversations with our subcontractors and trying to negotiate their asking price as we also need to consider the financial aspect of the project. These are different elevation of the house which means displaying the house from different angles. And in the last couple of hours, I calculated quantities for a tender we are bidding, followed by sending emails to clients updating them about the progress of their projects. Trust me, it's not as simple as it seems. Finally, my day ends here. I tried showing you all the activities that I do as a civil engineer. Although engineering is fun, but it can be very challenging at times. And you will often come across problems where you have to think out of the box or think differently, maybe from a different perspective. Being an engineer, you have to be very good at that. That's all for today. See you next time.